Oh, hi! This week, I'm going to show you how to make Felix the Cat's magical bag. It was a weird train of thought that my brain went down that reminded me of Felix the Cat, the movie that came out during my childhood, before my childhood, I couldn't tell you. And I was like, shit, he has a super dope bag. And I have been looking for use for this for forever because the thing I bought it for initially didn't work out. So let's make coin purse wallet version of Felix the Cat's bag because why the fuck not? Also, black and yellow, get that hug life. Here's what you need. Fucking Downy Cider Winter Blend. Oh, it's my favorite. I got a little carried away. Also, I just really wanted coordinated clips on this for some reason, but you're going to need some kind of yellow felt and then some type of lining felt piece that's the same size. You're gonna need one of these bag handle things. You'll also need some matching yellow embroidery floss and some black embroidery floss and a big needle with which to thread the embroidery floss through. Scissors. Did I mention scissors? So I'm just gonna match the top of this clip part to the top edge of the fabric and then I'm just gonna take a marker and just have some little marks like that. You can fold all of this in half, get all four layers of your lining and your outer yellow fabric together. So you're gonna have four layers in a sandwich. Take your scissors, cut right along that. There's not gonna be any need for seam allowance. That is the joy of working with felt. It's not like it's going to fray. I don't like the bottom of the bag being too far below this section, but that's just me. One other thing you're gonna need is a sewing machine, but just for like a little part, you can hand sew it with the embroidery floss if you want. Totally your call. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. So the next part, I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark out the design for Felix's bag. If you don't know what the fuck that looks like, this jaunty motherfucker. Look at that dope bag. As you can see, lots of X's and circles. This basically looks like a really awful pineapple. Well, hello, change of scenery because there's a wood stove here and I'm watching Evelyn from the internets and doing some embroidery. This is what my stitches look like so far. I'm not good at this. For those of you curious how I'm going about this. So I took my little needle and looped it with a little tail over there. I knotted the other end and pulled it up from the back and I made little marks that I showed you earlier. So I'm just pulling it up from the bottom at one of the ends of the X. Oh my god dog. I get it. So I pulled that all the way through and pushed the needle through the middle of the X, pulling this through, coming from the back again, gonna find another point of the X, pull that through, and then back to the center. And then just repeat that for all four points, and then I'm actually going back in like double stitching, so I'm just repeating that for all four. Oh, you probably wanna know how I'm doing the little dots too. So instead of doing a circle or a French knot, I think that's the term I was trying to think of when I kept saying French pearl. I'm just pulling this up and back down with a little tiny stitch coming up from the bottom again and then just making like a little plus sign almost. Just do that a bunch until you have the whole pattern done. Again, not good at embroidery, but I have the bag clipped in half, right sides together. Kind of tuck the two layers into the slats right here. I promise I wasn't just flipping you off. So I marked where this part ends with the pin and then I'm holding it together with the clip. So I'm gonna take my machine, but you can hand sew this if you want. Just do a little straight stitch right along here and then this other side here. So now you're just gonna flip this right sides out. So it should look like this. And now this part's a little tricky, but once you start it, it'll be easier to keep everything in place. You're gonna tuck your two layers into the slats. Make sure you can see the felt through the holes up top here. Thread your big needle just like you were doing before. Leave a little tail over here and not the other end a couple times. I actually like to start at the corners instead of starting all the way down here just because it's usually more of a fitting issue once you get to this part of the bag. So I'm going to start from the inside making sure you're catching both layers of felt or svelte whichever and then you're going to push your needle through one of those holes. Now if you've been using an extra big needle, you may have to go for a smaller size here in case it doesn't fit through the metal hole because there's not going to be any stretch or give there, obviously. It's metal. Once that's pulled all the way through, I'm going to run this down kind of between that hole and the next hole. It pulls a little stitch right there and then repeat that whole thing and then just keep whip stitching all the way through all of these holes and then do the same for the other side. I saw the man. It opens, and it's double-sided, and it didn't come out too bad. Not as, like, professional-looking as I was hoping, but, I mean, it's pretty fun. Also, why do I hold them like this? This is not a way 
nobody does this. Guys, I promise I'm an adult and not just two kids stacked on top of each other, although that would explain the lanky awkwardness. Maybe that's why I always sit down for videos or else I get too top heavy. 